Hey y'all, how are y'all doing today? Peace on earth. <laughs> Love and light to you. I am Gabrielle Ethan. Welcome to my channel. So, where am I walking? I'm walking to the park across the street. Um, because of course, I'm trying to talk to y'all for a little bit. I felt a little awkward saying peace on earth. And it seems like the earth is just like <laughs> you know what? I can't even say that because I don't know exactly what it's doing all around the world. I know what they say that they're doing what it's doing. But the United States, it's a trip as always, right? I want to talk to you guys more so on what you're doing rather than what the United States is doing. Because what I see is a whole lot of fear. I teach y'all all the time the universe cannot operate in fear. If anybody won't anything to change it's gonna be real hard for the universe to work through this right now work through a lot of people's fear okay. i'm gonna try not to talk to you guys like a lot of youtubers do i don't like when they do that they just be like y'all are like this y'all doing this and y'all doing that i don't like that because everybody ain't doing stuff so <laughs> okay we heading towards the park now. And this is my thing. I had already heard like earlier 2020 would be just exposing a lot of people. And that's what it's doing. Especially anybody that teaches lessons for the soul is what I like to just say. Spiritualists, pastors, leaders, anybody. Let me get out of that roll go to the grass anybody that's teaching lessons for the soul a lot of them should be ashamed of themselves really because right now we are really experiencing we are really seeing the real from the fake like you can just go to the grocery store and look at the people with the mask on you know for whatever reason Cause some of them are made you know some people are working and stuff like that but that shows you right there the type of mindset this world is in or the majority of the world is in so now that they made it mandatory saying if you don't do it you're gonna be charged thousand dollars it's just for a month let's see what happens during then but what i'm more ashamed about is these so-called leaders, these so-called gurus that I have been watching, that we all have been watching, who have all of a sudden turned scared. You know, it's real easy to just say, I could have sworn, I could have sworn it was a, oh, it's over there. Okay, let me walk all the way back over here, back by the water. <laughs> Like, I could have sworn it was somewhere to sit. But me and my daughter, we always sit on the ground. So, so y'all, <laughs> to hear some of these people, those stay inside people, those too soon people, or some of those gurus that we watched all the time, who would promote outside healing. And healing from the nature. Oh, so what? Did the universe lie now? Did God lie now? You know? All of a sudden, it was the place to be. <laughs> now they're saying stay inside and people have forgot. People have forgot that. They're saying don't leave your house. It's too soon. Oh, they forgot. Something should tell you. Something that's not right about this. Based on everything you've learned throughout your life. Anybody that knows anything about nature, something should tell you that regardless of how you believe. A lot of y'all know my stance on it because you've watched my videos <laughs> when I talk about what's going on. But, anyways, 
Yahweh didn't lie when he said nature is a healer. Yahweh God, whoever you want to call him, did not lie when he said nature is a healer. <gasps> Y'all look. Man, they said I can't sit there no more. <laughs> <sighs> well, that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about. Going back, <laughs> all the way back over there. <laughs> Y'all saw that yellow tape there? It was actually wrapped around it in a way to where you can't sit on it at all. Mm. But when he said that nature is a healer, it is. Oh, I didn't show y'all. I brought my Geo with me today. <laughs> Should have brought my dragon blood, but anyways, I'll talk to y'all about that later. He didn't lie. All of these chemtrails, who is wearing a mask right now? I'm not fixing to judge you, but I'm about to ask you a question. Who's wearing a mask right now that believes in chemtrails? You were you weren't mad wearing a mask then, or were you? All this pollution that they have been putting in the atmosphere, and now you're letting because they say y'all know they're real threatened about us by us so called woke people, and a lot of us don't even consider ourselves woke, that's what they call us, <laughs> but. They real threatened about that, cause every time we talk, they gonna say, "Oh, you ain't got no, you ain't got but three hours worth of college. <laughs> you ain't got no letters in front of your name." <laughs> As if Doctor Sebi ever did. The people started calling him Doctor. He never had any schooling, and has did way more than a lot of these doctors that went to school has done. And a lot of us know people. We know Doctor Sebi's, okay? But whatever. I think it's a very shallow mindset to feel like someone can't tell you something just because they don't have any letters um, in their name. That's not even, that's not using wisdom. That's not wise at all. My four-year-old daughter has told me a lot about some of the things that she said. But the thing is, y'all, <laughs> the spiritualists, the leaders, the gurus, she be ashamed of themselves because now they're not standing in what they've always said that they will stand in. All this faith teaching that they was doing, they're not doing it now. Some of those are the main ones saying, y'all stay inside. We don't know what's going on. But you had so much to talk before about not doing what the majority do. Standing up for what you for what you believed in. Now you're teaching people to sit inside. Especially some of those ones that talked about nature all the time. I don't even want to hear anything from them anymore. Because a lot of them don't even understand how viruses work. Dolo? <laughs> Dolo the pilot man? I wasn't even watching him that much because... Even though Aries is one of my favorite signs, I'm an Aries in uh, Vedic Astrology, but me and Aries don't get on alone a lot, so I don't watch him that much. But this is the time where the real is separated from the fake, where the people who was, who was preaching so-called stuff, are they still practicing what they're preaching? That's the thing. And I like how he's talking, you know, and he's not backing down. I like that, especially someone with a, a good following like he has. I like that. But let's see when they start making people wear these mandatory masks. Let's see if any of your leaders, any of these gurus, let's see who all start wearing these masks that they make people wear. Because keeping it all the way real, don't nobody got no thousand dollars to be giving these people in fines. We all know this. But I thought what we're teaching people is to stand for something so we won't fall for just anything. And a lot of people have fallen. I mean, there are no freedom fighters no more. There are no freedom fighters.
anymore. And I'm talking about being scared. I'm gonna be scared of a bumblebee. <laughs> that was Hedy of the Woods to be scared of, right? <laughs> Whatever. But <laughs> um, y'all. We fear in we fearing the wrong things. Like I tell myself all the time. You fearing a bug, you ten times bigger than it. And I do the same thing. The fact of the matter is we have to check ourselves sometimes and say, what are we feeling? What what are we fearing? What are we fearing? You know? And the thing is, y'all, the freedom fighters, people who purposely went into white on establishments just to get kicked out because they're saying we're gonna keep doing this until something change y'all cannot just treat us like dogs and then we gotta watch out how we treat our dogs too y'all y'all can't treat us like animals y'all can't treat us different from any other human and they went and they purposely put themselves into that situation Knowing that they would let the dogs out on them, they would get hosed, they would get beat, abused, spit on. Just for us to be able to sit our little pretty little bougie selves down in Red Lobster. To sit our pretty little selves down in a church house. But you know what I say? I say some people deserve their churches to get taken away. Some people deserve their privileges to get taken away. Because when it's time to fight for it, you don't want to fight. Oh, there's no freedom fighters no more. You saying, oh, I'm not fixing to give nobody these thousand dollars. I'm not about to get beat up. I'm not about to get put in jail. Like the freedom fighters did for you to be able to say that. So since there are no freedom fighters no more, there are just a bunch of compliers now. Then that's what we are doing. And that's what a lot of people out there, especially with these YouTube cha channels, are teaching people now. You know good and well this stuff is fake. And you telling people, y'all, they opening up the city too soon. Based on what these people are saying, then that would make logical sense. They would be opening it up too soon. But if you know the truth and you know there's no coronavirus out here, at least none that can do the things that they say that it can do to you. Then why are you being with the bandwagon? Because you scared now? You scared you're going to lose a couple of followers? Y'all, this time it's really separating the real from the fake. You know, I mean, truth be told, if we are looking at it logically, things do need to start opening back up because of the, of the economy people we cannot continue to go on like this now we just can't now <laughs> just come and see us ain't nobody working ain't nobody spending nothing everybody staying in one spot i'm telling you they gonna kill us one way or uh, one way or another and one thing i noticed when i watch a lot of youtube videos people say y'all i've been so depressed this is really getting me down because they're not going anywhere they're not being out in nature and I used to not be a nature people. Some of my other videos, I used to tell y'all all the time, y'all, I am not a nature person. And now I realize, oh my gosh, I took nature for granted when it is so much healing out here. Y'all, we're going to be some ungrounded people when all this is over with. When nature grounds you. You can't even use your crystals all the time to ground you. Your crystals need nature. In some places, they have to let prisoners out for like, don't they give them a certain amount of sun, sun time in certain prisons? Because they know the importance of nature. They know that. And we, especially as leaders in, in, in any type of teacher position, position, do not even have the common sense to say, even if I believe all this stay inside too soon stuff, stay in, staying inside will kill you. Ain't you a teacher of, 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 uh, ain't you some kind of spiritualist and you don't know that? You don't know staying out, if you feel like staying in, going outside will kill you? Don't you know staying inside will kill you? Facts. So you can't be teaching people that. At least show them the natural way to do something. And they say they letting people out without no vaccines and stuff like that. 
But look what they put in these vaccines. Look what they've always put in vaccines. Come on now. Oh, but you ain't here. What's the me y'all ain't hearing me because I don't got no letters in front of my name. It's not even wise. It's not wise to say that. Okay? When there are a lot of doctors who are speaking out about this. I like that. If I'm sharing you a post and the doctor is on live telling you this is not real. Viruses do not work like this. These are doctors that are actually speaking out about this. If you need somebody with some letters in front of their name. That's all I'm saying. Some stuff is just common sense. But what I'm more ashamed of is what we're doing about the whole thing. How fearful we are. But you know what I thought of? I thought of how um, when Yahweh, you guys know I say Yahweh. But we're talking about who everybody would know is God. How I remembered how, you know, Yahweh was telling me today how uh, when you're doing what you're supposed to do, he'll, he'll hide you. You don't have to worry about hiding yourself when you're doing what you're supposed to do. Didn't Obadiah hide the prophets from Jezebel? Obadiah was friends with Jezebel and the king. But he still did what he had to do. And hid those prophets. Didn't Rahab hide those men? When they were, I forgot what they were doing. They was doing something. Rahab had to hide those men for something. And I thought about Sodom and Gomorrah. When Yahweh was doing something in, in the land. Because he was like Sodom and, and, and Gomorrah had got too wicked. He still told his people. But you would be saved. The ones that were doing what they were supposed to do. He still told them, but you, but you will be saved. So y'all don't fear these people. He told those people, he gave those people opportunity and time to leave those places. I know a lot of y'all want to leave. So maybe this is confirmation for you guys. To leave that place. Because he knew he was about to destroy it. And remember Lot and his wife? He told Lot and his wife to get out. But Lot's wife, she was missing something. She wanted to see what was going on. And she looked back and she turned us to salt. Don't be like that, y'all. Don't be like that. Somebody's like, but I don't believe in Bible stories. But you believe in that time where you could have gotten that ticket and you didn't. You believe in that time where you was in that accident that could have killed you, but it didn't. It was only a miracle, but it didn't. You believe that, right? You believe in that time you was about to get, it, to get evic evicted and that money showed up out of nowhere. You believe that, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't too much believe in the Bible, too, but I do like some of these stories and believe some of them are true. Because I do believe that some people are telling his story, their story. And it can be used as inspiration. I'll never forget that time where I wanted a new car. And um, I told this story before. And... um I pray that when the storm came, that Yahweh would take that car and throw it somewhere so I can get the FEMA money for it. And that's exactly what happened because the night before that storm came, I let my homeboy drive it. I didn't know, though. I didn't know that storm would be that bad at all. I let my homeboy drive it. He ended up getting pulled over. He was drunk or something like that. And then they took it to the to the to uh, to some kind to some random, um, um, what, what, what do you call those places? Car, puns, whatever you call them. And when I found it, it was one of those places that the tornado hit. Tore up that car. <laughs> Got me a new car. And when I looked in that car, they was like, we need your, they was like, we need your license and everything. I was like, oh my gosh, my life, my license is in that car. And I remember the day before, I threw, the, I threw my license and a bunch of important papers in the back seat because I, I did stuff like that. Okay? Yeah, I did. Like, I was just kind of irresponsible. So, like, I had I had everything. I was doing some other kind of paperwork. And I had it all in a folder. And I threw it in the back seat. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to pick it up later. And that car had, like, skid marks where it had been turning and turning and turning. It was so messed up, y'all. But when I looked in that back seat, paper, paper was still exactly how I left it. 
because Yahweh knew I was going to need that paper to get me another car? What? And then at first those people tried to give me like $400. And I was like, no, 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 no. That can be a curse for me for some of you guys too. I sent an appeal in and then they came back and gave me $6,000. Okay. That can be um, encouragement for some of you guys too. For those of you guys who are worried about your children, then he had Moses when they were killing all the, the, the boy babies. And I really believe Moses weren't the, weren't the only child that was hidden. So many times I had to ride around with my tire, with my, with, uh, I never forget my tires, with the, the thread was gone on my tires. My car needed like a new transmission. It would crank up sometimes. I needed a, uh, some windshield wipers. My tag was expired. Police was right behind me and they went right by me so many times. So the reason I can talk like this is because I have experienced it. A lot of these people want to be these big gurus and hadn't experienced nothing. Have been through nothing. They telling y'all to stay inside. Well, you know that's the worst thing you can do. They know this. Shame on them though. And I believe that's all I have to say about that. I hope... I have kind of walked back now because I do have to do something today. <laughs> I hope I've kind of inspired you guys to keep on going. And a lot of you guys aren't scared. Let me know if you're scared, if you're not scared in the comments. A lot of you guys aren't. But in times like these, you do feel like just getting up and moving away. You feel like, man, I just I just really want to end it all. Maybe somebody's thinking like that because I don't want to be in this world. But we've been here so many times, y'all. And y'all know this. True light, all the true light workers stand up. Y'all going to wish y'all would have listened to this little girl from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. <laughs> with... Uh, with uh no i ain't gonna say how many subscribers i got i got the hidden <laughs> for a reason these pretty flowers y'all weren't here last time how come y'all didn't die there's a virus out y'all weren't here last time i came out here how come y'all ain't dead some pretty flowers we were just out here the other day that's all y'all hope i haven't forgot anything Continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's tribe. Bye! Y'all, I had meant to um, put this story at the end as like, you know, my ending story. Because it would have been good for the end and I forgot. But I came back up in here and I saw my yellow blanket and then I remembered. Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> I remembered what I was going to say. I was giving y'all examples of the things that Yahweh has done for people, whether you believe in, in that or not. And then I was like, but look at what he has done for you. I also remember the story of Oshun. And some of you guys know, some of you guys don't. When people were taking her for granted, because she was like the young, the, the, she was like one of the younger, the younger goddesses, Arishas, whatever you prefer to say. Um, she was one of the younger ones, so they was just kind of taking her for granted, just not really, you know, appreciating what she was there for. So she was like, fine, they don't, they say they don't need me, then I'm gone. Y'all know she's like guarding over the fresh waters. So uh, she left. That's when she turned into a peacock and she left and she took the fresh water with her. And then, you know, um, hey, they saw how much she was, <laughs> she was needed then when all the fresh water was gone. They call it sweet water, sweet water, aka fresh water. And it just led me to think that, um, but Oshun draws people to the fresh water. The ones who, you say good people, you're doing what you're supposed to do. She will guide you to the fresh water. Because that's why a lot of people say there's no fresh water no more. Like we know this. We all know that a lot of the water is polluted now. But especially in my life. I've I've been led to water I never heard of before, never seen of seen before. People um haven't even talked about before. And when I drink this water, I know it's good. I just know it's good by the way. 
my body takes it, especially someone with acid reflux, okay? And it ain't even all about, um, what's that water called? People drinking now. Um, because I drink it too sometimes. Alkaline, it's not even all about that. It's other water. But anyways, um, and it led me to say this, y'all. We don't have to worry about, you know, a lot of things that's going on, a lot of poison that's out there. Because when you're doing what you're supposed to do, your guys, your spiritual team will lead you to to where the stuff that's not poisonous at. To, so regardless to how you feel, you're supposed to know this. Y'all say y'all work with deities. I'm talking to spiritual people. This whole video is for spiritual people, okay? I can't be talking to people of the world because they ain't going to understand nothing I'm saying. This is for spiritual people. The ones who actually can change this world. Who's supposed to vibrate so high that the atmosphere is supposed to literally change. We're supposed to be the ones who actually can make the environment, the, the atmosphere change. Make these make the government shut some of these laws down because that's how high we're supposed to vibrate. But instead, we get scared of being like them, complying to the government ways and their laws. But Oshun had brought me to the fresh water so many times. I remember one time I was like telling my friend I was going to the beach. And I was like, yeah, I just want to get out in the salt water and all that. And he was like, where did you say you was going? I told him where I was going. He was like, that ain't salt water. This is fresh water. And I was like, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I did not know that. And then so um, I was like, oh, Shun bought me to the fresh water. Because I really kept, I, I thought, uh, but that's Guinea that's over the salt water, the ocean. And, um, so I was like, so that's why I was guided to go out here. Oshun will bring you to the fresh water, y'all. Your guides, your spiritual team will take you to where it's clean at. You don't have to worry about whatever they're saying is floating around. You don't have to worry about that. We're always guided. We're always protected and covered. Okay. You don't have to... I feel like however you feel, even though there's nothing around in this era or whatever, at least to those who are who are fearing money or or fearing, okay, they're taking all the food, they're taking all the tissue and all this stuff. You don't have to fear any, any of that, y'all. Your guys will always protect you. And to the ones that want to be like the rest of the world, yeah, they fresh water going to dry up. Their supplies is going to dry up, but not you. I've been speaking this since day one of me starting these videos. Okay? That's all, y'all. Bye.